hi guys welcome to my channel so today we are going to look at one of my most worn boots and the reason why I'll be repairing it so once upon a time not so long ago I was rocking this boot and I enjoyed every way every step every move that I made I enjoyed it because this boot it's comfortable it's warm and ah uh, I enjoyed wearing it and of course I spent so much money for it so I was indeed getting my cost away but this happened but guys I remembered the first sound of the zipper when I pulled that zipper up guys I remembered it and I'm I don't want to be dramatic here well in a way I am but I remember this so well when I put it on for the first time and this boot is about three or so years old and oh my god the joy I felt and I've worn it to work as it gets older I start to wear it casually but I enjoyed it either way because of the versatility of this boot so there's no way I'm gonna just let it die a sudden death or I'm gonna let it go that easily no 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 I am too sustainably savvy for that so today we are going to repair two of my items my boot and a sweater sleeve yes you heard me right so what really triggered this repair is that I found that whenever I was rushing out in the mornings and was putting on my socks and my boots it wasn't sitting comfortably I mean my foot would snag in the boot and I couldn't figure out why until I discovered this rip in the lining of the boot and it's not a huge rip but it's enough to make a difference so that one foot feels vastly more comfortable than the other and this is supposed to be a very comfortable boot so I discovered this rip and I was so shocked so I've decided not to give up on this boot because the outer shell which as you guys know is 100% leather slash suede is in perfect condition so I really really need to get more weight I grabbed the biggest needle that I have in my collection and I grabbed the sturdiest thread. This is a thread that you use for extension sewing and anyone that uses extensions you know how sturdy this thread is. So this is what I'm going to use today to repair my boot. And so guys it's as simple as it is. You try to turn the boot inside out as much as you possibly can just find where it starts to tear apart and that's where you begin you just begin right there as you can see the needle is a pretty thick one so it could glide through this fabric pretty easily so that's what we're going to do today guys as easy as ABC <laughs> so all that I'm simply doing are just quick simple over stitches and this is one sure way to ensure that it's securely fastened because as a boot it gets a lot of wear so you really need to secure it really when you're wearing it and 
that's what I'm going for. I need comfort as well as my cost to work. That's all I'm aiming for when it comes to this booth. And so far, this booth has really served me well. And I believe that by repairing it, I can definitely get several more winters and falls out of this boot. So as you can see, I have completed the repairing of the boot, but now I'm, I'll am i just be cleaning it up a bit because there are some stray threads right alongside the zipper of the boot. And oftentimes when your boot is getting a bit older, that normally happens it's just regular wear and tear so all you need to do is to just get your scissors and trim the edges off so that the zipper can run freely and it would prevent any future snagging of the zipper on your boots so yes guys that's it it is all repaired and ready to be worn so now I'll be trying it on for you and voila here is what it's looking like and I can tell you a hundred percent that it's so much better guys oh my god and yes this is the natural color it is much darker than what you see at the outset because the lighting was pretty bright this is the natural color here. It's comfortable. And this is one way I tested. <laughs> yeah, I kind of stomp on my feet a bit to, just to test it and determine how comfortable it actually is. And I can tell you for sure that I'll be getting so much wear out of this. So this is one way in which you guys can take care of your leather boots. As you guys know, it's so important to really look after your leather items because this prevents the overproduction of leather. And leather, as you know, is a very controversial issue when it comes to overproduction and overconsumption because oftentimes, Animals are rare solely for their hides and we are trying to avoid overconsumption and overproduction. One way in which you can do so is definitely to repair your leather items and you can thrift your leather items whether it's shoes and I know that some people are very uncomfortable about shopping for leather shoes in a thrift store but if it's something that you're fine with, I'll definitely propose that you go for it. But yeah, I'll definitely be pairing it with this workwear item again because I love the combination of black and red. I find it so elevating and it makes me feel great and it puts me in an elevated mood and helps me to get prepared for the work ahead. So after quarantine, this is definitely an outfit that I'll be rocking along with this one, as well as this one and this one, because this boot is very versatile to interrupt guys but just a quick note hi guys if you just so happen to just click on my video you are new please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when I post new videos and most importantly guys it's free Thank you so much for subscribing. Love ya. Let's get back to the video. So next, I'll be repairing my cardigan. And this is the sleeve of my cardigan. Ah, yeah. This is one of my favorite quarantine cardigans. It is a piece that was thrifted about uh, two years ago. Yes. And 
during quarantine, when I was a little bit sick, for some reason, it got ripped out. And so what I did was I saved the thread. If you know me, you would know that that is not anything that is uncommon. So I saved the thread and today, we are going to repair it because I find that I'm still reaching for it and with that part of the sleeve hanging out it's definitely annoying me so let's repair this piece so that it can fit as perfectly as I like it so all I'm simply doing is using the smallest needle in my collection so what I'm doing is just to simply pick tiny portions of the fabric with the needle so that when it's completed the thread would be invisible and of course if you're very good at this it would definitely look professionally done I can't guarantee that it would look that way but it's what I'm aiming for so let's hope that <laughs> I get this looking as professionally as I want it to be. So voila, it's completed and I believe that I did an excellent job with this. So what I'm going to do now is to just try it on a bit for you. So let's trim it up a bit and make it look nice and cute. And I'll try it on and we'll see how it looks so what we're going to do is to compare the side I did with the side of the professional one so on your left is the professional looking one and on the right is the one I just did so let me know what you guys think do you think I did a great job <laughs> so if we have to look at this particular cardigan very closely, you would see that, yes, it's well loved. And I am really extending the life of this cardigan by simply repairing it because I love the fabric and I think that it fits really, really nicely. So here's a look at how this cardigan fits and it's my go-to quarantine cardigan as I've mentioned before I love it it's pretty warm because of the fabric composition it's nice and cozy and I would never get tired of wearing this piece and it's something that I would have for the rest of my life in my closet it's definitely not going anywhere. So that's it guys, that's it for these two items. I hope that you find inspiration from these two pieces. I know that oftentimes people are quick to throw these items out, but this is one way in which you can prolong their lives and you can get more bang for your money and you can get pieces that would last you for a very long time make sure that you look for fabric then fit and style love you guys take care and see you in the next one